Well, I guess I'll just have to stick with Nick. Oh, wait a minute. You're not. You guys aren't. What? Sleeping together. Sorry, I thought that was implicit in my disgust. Uh, uh, explicit, actually. And no, I have a very strict rule against dating couples. Oh, really? I call it the strange policy. Oh, well, good. I'm glad something's named after me. I came at Doctor Strange um, and the comics of Doctor Strange through people being interested in me for the role in the film. And I found him incredibly arrogant, brilliant, sort of extraordinary, and with the potential to be incredibly hokey because it was very much a comic of its era, like they always are. So this superhero came out of a context in the 60s and 70s of experimental drug taking of a bleed between Western science and logic and Eastern mysticism, which is, you know, something as a teenager I was very interested in. I spent some time teaching in a Tibetan Buddhist monastery near Darjeeling and read things like uh, Fritjof Capra's um, uh, Tao of Physics. I read motorcycle, uh, the Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, as well as studying Buddhist texts and reading out on certain things, you know, scientific books like cosmology, trying to get through a brief history of time, um, and observing this extraordinary ancient ritual and wisdom right in front of me every morning and every evening, and talking to those monks in that monastery, talking to lamas in the towns around and about who had um, other experiences with other sects or had better English and were able to sort of unpack what I was witnessing every day. and. So my mind as a teenager, as a 19-year-old, was kind of really blown open by all of that. So it immediately made sense to me, this material. I'm talking tonight at a neurological society there. Come with me. Another speaking engagement? So romantic. You still love coming to those things with me. We had fun together. <laughs> no, you had fun. They weren't about us, they were about you. Not only about me. Stephen, everything is about you. He is arrogant to the point of being unlikable, but yet somehow you should still like him. He's got a great deal of charm, and there is already a sense of loss or soullessness, I think, about him very early on in the film. You see him as a lone figure at the beginning and end of this film. By the end of the film, he's a superhero, and we all know that's quite an onerous task and often requires quite a solitary existence. Um, not too many people you can you know, pillow talk with or you know, form meaningful relationships when, you're, when your responsibilities are always other and elsewhere. You're a man looking at the world through a keyhole, and you've spent your whole life trying to widen that keyhole, to see more, to know more, and now, on hearing that it can be widened in ways you can't imagine, you reject the possibility. No, I reject it because I do not believe in fairy tales about chakras or energy or the power of belief. There is no such thing as spirit. The pull was amazing. Kathmandu was absolutely vital to this film, I think not least because it's so based in something that is exotic and other, and to have that experience as a film crew when you know, we're spending a lot of time together, a lot of time on sets and, and simulacrums of all these wonderful exotic places and uh, uh, cities, you know, we, it was a very bonding experience. It was a very bonding experience for all of us as a crew. I pushed your astral form out of your physical form. What's in that tea? Psilocybin? LSD? It's just tea. With a little honey. To be able to play off Tilda Swinton, Mads Mikkelsen, Rachel McAdams, Michael, and Chiotel, I mean, really, really, really spoiling. Really fantastic. Uh, very flattering as well. I think Scott's one of the main reasons that this project atta attracted such a, a, a brilliantly talented cast. He's great on process. He's really good on um, going through a great, a great sort of uh, volume of detail about characterization. You really feel very safe in his hands about who you're playing and why you're playing what you're playing.